Thailand's opposition Move Forward Party is under threat of dissolution. All this follows a decision by the country's election commission to petition the Constitutional Court to decide on its fate. Judges had ruled earlier this year that a promise made by the reformist Progressive Party during its election campaign, and that was to amend the royal insult law, is tantamount to treason. CNS Saksis Sarsambat explains the background to this decision. There is a sense of déjà vu among Thais as yet another opposition party is on the chopping block as the country's election commission is petitioning the Constitutional Court to seek a dissolution of the Move Forward Party. The Election Commission is basing its decision on a previous ruling by the Constitutional Court earlier this year in January, where it ruled on the Move Forward Party's promise during last year's election campaign to amend, not abolish, the draconian Les Majesté law. This law criminalizes insults and threats to the king, queen and heirs with up to 15 years per offense. But more often than not in the past, the punishments have also included criticisms of the monarchy as a whole, as the institution is officially revered. What was once a taboo subject, however, arrived in the mainstream partially thanks to the Move Forward Party, making it a mainstream campaign issue. But the judges at the Constitutional Court saw these calls by the party as an attempt to overthrow the constitutional monarchy, effectively equating it with high treason. So now that the Election Commission has been prodded by petitioners to dissolve the Move Forward Party, it has echoed the court's verdict and also saw no reason to seek further hearings or evidence. What happens next? Well, the case hasn't arrived at the Constitutional Court yet, so the judges can't decide whether to accept it or not. But observers say that it is very likely that they will accept it, and that also means that the opposition move forward party will be on borrowed time. The past 12 months have been quite an emotional roller coaster for the move forward party, winning the most seats and votes in last May's election, but then blocked from forming a government coalition and sent back to the opposition bench, and now they're facing the threat of dissolution again. It happened to their predecessor future forward four years ago, that in part sparked large youth-led protests that called for widespread political reforms, and they also targeted the monarchy as well, including the abolishment of said Les Majesté law. But as a result, hundreds of protesters have been charged with Les Majesté since then and are facing several years of jail. And historically speaking, party dissolutions are blunt yet very ineffective tools. As mentioned before, after Future Forward was banned, Move Forward won the next elections, and CNA understands there's already a new backup party ready if needed. Coincidentally, this comes after the Move Forward Party has called for the creation of a parliamentary committee to study the limits of the Constitutional Court. Critics have said that this is an attempt to ring-fence the judiciary. But lawmakers of the Move Forward Party have said that if elected lawmakers are not allowed to amend or abolish existing laws, like the Les Majesté law itself, who else would be allowed to do that then? Saksetsa Sombat, CNA Bangkok.